Hey YouTubers, um, I'm basically, this is my first video, so bear with me a little bit. Um, <laughs> it's already umming already. Alright, basically I have here two different style authentic hockey jerseys, and this is literally just to show people, hey, this is what a real jersey will have, this is what a real jersey will look like. And I notice a lot of people use a lot of different teams, but a lot of people just, I don't know, no one really does the blues. So I'm going to go ahead and, and, and I'm a, you know... Being from the area of St. Louis, I'm pretty much a big Blues fan. So, anyways, I'm just going to go ahead and first of all, this is an actual Coho throwback jersey. And this is uh, basically the Blues use these jerseys from I want to say 1999 to 2007. Now the Blues have just released the new uh, sweater, and basically. They look just like this, all right? As you can tell, we're going back to the old days, Coho. I recommend buying a Coho hockey jersey if you want to buy a, a – if you can find a Coho authentic because they, the, the Chinese knockoffs could not replicate the Coho. They really absolutely could not. You see the captain C, but the material is made out of like an air net type – it's air net type material. And the elbows, as you can tell, everything's sewn on real nice. It's thick. You can tell this is the old school style hockey jersey. This is called like air knit. All right. Now, the dumbest thing of all. This is how you really can tell an authentic from a fake, ultimately. And that is, do do do. Well, we're all over the place, huh, boy? I think you guys might see my space wolves over there. Bam. That's it. That's how you can tell if it's real. It has an AirNet jersey. It has an AirNet tag in it. Right there. Made in Canada. Amazing, isn't it? That little tag right there. The, the, the Asian knockoffs will not have this. They won't have a lot of things, but that's one thing they won't have either. Here you go. Here's your fight strap. And as you can tell, it's a darker colored sewn in. This is real thick. Real heavy. Alright? This is real thick. Real heavy. I'm not going to undo it. And on the Coho jerseys, they had just a little NHL sticker. That's it. That's all they had. Not a sticker, but it's a patch. Like I said, there's really not much to a hockey jersey. I hate the fact that it costs so much. But as you can tell, there's your number two. And yes, for all you trolls out there, Al McKinnis was captain of the St. Louis Blues. I believe Chris Pronger got a concussion or a shoulder injury, one of the two. And uh, Al McKinnis was the interim captain in 2003 and was made a captain in 2004 before he got hurt. Now, Al McKinnis suffered what they call an occipital injury in 2004 that ended his career, basically an eye injury. Now, these patches, a lot of people like to point them out. Oh, they're, you know, they're real stiff. They're real. The Blues make cheap jerseys. Blues always have. Blues always will. So, the Blues jerseys are a bad gauge on that. The biggest thing about a Blues jersey is the color. The color is huge. And hold on, I'm going to pause it real quick and show you the back. All right, we're back, and I'm showing you the back. Isn't that kind of neat? All right, yeah. The color, like I was saying earlier, the color of a Blues jersey is the ultimate tell if it's a fake or not. That's really the biggest tall tale fake. All the Coho jerseys had this, and this is sewn onto the back. Size 52. This thing is actually really big on me. There's your McKinnis nameplate. That's one of the different variants they would uh, label the McKinnis jersey with. And there's this big number two. Easy number, right? Number two. Anyways, long story short, they're made out of airnet. You can tell the fight strap. These jerseys weren't faked a lot. You want to get a coho if you can, all right? You really, really, really want to get a coho. I'm just letting you know. <laughs> uh, you don't want to get a CCM because there's a good chance, there's a, there's a better chance of it being a Chinese knockoff than a coho. The Cohos are very fake, or not very fake. They were very hard to fake. So, and Coho did make authentic jerseys. They are actually worn on rink by the NHL teams. So, that's it for this jersey. Here's my year-old Alex Petrangelo 
Uh, Throwback jersey now, I guess. <laughs> they just changed the jerseys this year, like I was telling you. Here it is, real fast. Up here. This is a patch. Okay? Has to be a patch. See? Has depth. You can feel it. There's little lines here. See how it's sewn in there? See how it's sewn in? There's a little line right there. You can tell by the stitching job. The Asians are actually getting really good at that. Once again, flimsy symbol, cheap blue jerseys, cheap blue jerseys, period. The Reebok will be sewn in on the top and the sides. The tags, they've already duplicated very well, so you can't really go off the tags. And let's go to the back. I actually scratched that. I messed up. Here's your fight strap. Once again... Same color. See how it's nice, neat? It's really, really squared up. It's not, once again, real thick, real heavy duty, real thick, real spongy. All right, let me go ahead and uh, move over to the back. And this right here will be a patch. This is a patch. You can tell. See how it's reflective? This right here is a patch. It's not actually sewn in. You can actually see that there's some slight coloration differences. Great lettering job. Uh, this was done in Michigan, where they know a little bit about hockey jerseys, right? All right. Basically, all of your Asian knockoffs will be this Reebok Edge 1.0 jersey. That's what they're based off of, okay? Once again, the Reebok Vector will be a separate patch, okay? And you have the fight strap that's a heavier duty, heavier quality, and the NHL shield will be there. I can't go off the uh, I can't go off of the the jersey crest or the jersey you know the little you know the patch on the, on the front I can't do it because let's just be honest here yeah the jerseys I don't know the, the blues just don't really the jerseys are pretty cheap for the blues basically but the color of a blues jersey now that's hard to mimic so very 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 royal blue and uh, it's very hard to mimic. And a lot of Asian knockoffs just don't get it right. So if it looks too light, or sometimes even too dark, I've seen a couple of them just, you know, they almost look like navy, and that's not how they go. Not this particular jersey, okay? Just want to let you know uh, what the difference between a fake and a real hockey jersey. Uh, I just want to say for the 2015, no, 2014 season, um, go Blues. And, yeah, that neat stuff. This guy right here, Alex Petrangelo, if you know anything about hockey, he's one of the top defensemen in the NHL and probably the Blues' best player in my opinion. So, anyways, I'm glad, glad to be uh, rocking a jersey of his. But once again, you can always tell, like I said, the lettering and all that. Actually, I'm going to show you one more thing. Also, on Asian knockoffs, this is usually sewn in. As you can tell, this is a patch that was heat-pressed on and sewn around. So once again, I'm telling you right now, that's the in jersey inside out, basically. And that's where your blues note, your blue note's going to be. Okay? That's a blue note right there at the back of it. So anyways, that's usually all tall tale signs. If your jersey doesn't have these, you and you bought an authentic, you probably were, were duped and ripped off or whatever. Whatever, however you want to word it. Anyways, thank you so much for your time and effort, and hopefully this video has helped you out. Talk to you guys later.